Hi, good morning guys, thanks for joining me. Well, I thought we'd do in today's video, just continuing with the tarp theme which I started off just last week. And with that being said, I did get a few inquiries just regarding the Prusix, and that was something which I did mention which I would make a video of, and that's something which I'm going to do today. But also alongside that, I'm just going to show you just a couple of other knots which I find very useful, certainly, you know, when it comes to carrying the tarp into camp and also carrying other sorts of equipment. Just basically knots which you could find useful, you know, in everyday life, but certainly in bushcraft scenarios like this, or if you're doing any other kind of wild camping. So the first knot I'd like to talk about is one that majority of us were taught in primary school, often referred to as the reef knot or the square knot, and it's a knot which you use for attaching two pieces of string. I'm sure we've all found ourselves in this situation, you found yourself a stunning location just to make camp, whether that's a nice flat area which I've got here, or maybe it's a stunning view, that the single length of paracord which we brought out for the ridge line just isn't long enough, it certainly won't reach this tree or it won't wrap around to be able to tie it off. So that being said, just an easy solution is just to extend just this length of ridge line just by adding another piece of paracord. And like I mentioned, the knot I'd use for that is a reef knot. And it's very quick and easy to tie. I've just got two lengths of paracord. The one on the left hand here is the main piece, the main part of the ridge line, and the orange piece is the extension, which I'm just going to use just to wrap around the tree. So I've just gone with the two separate colours just to make it easier for yourself, just to identify which piece is which when it's actually being tied together. And like I mentioned, very quick and very simple. So we just start off with left over right. So there's the left piece, there's the right piece. And then we're just going to wrap it around. And then the second part of the knot is right over left. There's the right piece over the left piece. And then just as we pull them together, it just basically forms just two small little loops. Very similar to if you're into your fly fishing, the loop to loop connection. It's a very strong knot, a very simple knot, like I just showed you there. Very quick and easy to tie. Now we've got the ridge line up, everything's nice and tight, we managed to extend it just to reach over to that other tree there. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the prusik. So when it comes to the prusik itself, even though it does a very technical job, there's nothing technical about the prusik. Just simply tied out with a single piece of cordage, as long as it's thinner than the ridge line itself, or you know if you're climbing, just as long as it's thinner than the climbing rope. These kind of things can be made pretty much out of any kind of cordage, just as long as it's strong enough that it can take the weight of the top, and also can take any kind of force from the wind blowing against it. So what I've got here, just three little pieces, I'm gonna show you how to tie the loop, just how to wrap it, just around the ridge line itself so that it works properly. Then I'm just gonna show you just how it works. So the cordage which I've got here, I've got some number 14 or number 16 bank line, can't quite remember, some number 36 bank line, and just one of the cords just off a cheap little compass so showing you you know that any kind of cordage can work like i say just as long as it's got that little bit of strength about it but also just making sure it's thinner than the ridge line itself so just starting off here i've just got a left hand side and a right hand side and it's basically just a case of just tying two overhand knots just over the main line itself so the first one we're just going to make i'm just going to get the right hand side and we're just going to tie just a simple overhand knot just like so, and then we're just going to turn it around just so we don't have to do it left-handed, or if you're left-handed you may be okay. We're just going to get the other tag end and do exactly the same kind of thing, we're just going to tie just an overhand knot just over the top of there again. And basically what we've done, we've actually just tied two overhand knots just like that, and then when we pull them together, the two knots just slide together, tighten, and that's a very secure knot, and also a very strong knot. So just like tying the prusik, when it actually comes just attaching it just to the ridge line itself, it's very simple again. And all I like to do, just holding it just in thumb and finger, and then I've got the knot just at the bottom. And then I just like to pass the knot through either two or three times, just dependent on the thickness of the cord which I'm using. The thinner the cord, I tend to wrap it around three times. A little bit thicker, I'll probably just wrap it around twice. And then once you've actually just put it around the amount of times that you want, you're just going to tighten it up nice and gently, and just making sure, like I've said, that everything forms nice and neat none of these wraps actually wrapped over the top of each other the neater you can get them the more secure a binding it's going to be and there once you've actually finished it that's just the prusik there and the way that these prusiks actually work when there's no weight on them and when the loops are actually hanging down these can be slid up and down the ridge line without any kind of problems or issues again opening the tarp up for us and just maximizing the shape of it and also the size of it but once he's not actually drawn tight and pulled sideways this is then what actually locks 
and opens that top up in the open position. And the last knot which I'd like to show you is certainly one which comes in handy from time to time is the jam knot or the Canadian jam knot. Now this kind of thing could be used for this, if it's just that you want to hold things like your tarp together, your sleeping mat, your sleeping bag or just a wool blanket like I've got here. This kind of knot's perfect for this kind of thing and again one of those knots which has been used for centuries. Very simple to tie, very easy to learn and very useful to use. So just like the other two knots which we've just used, the Canadian jam knot is simple and easy to use just the same. So just starting off with a single length of cord, this one again around about two and a half to three foot in length. The length of the cord is going to be dictated to by the kind of article or item that he says that you want to wrap or bind up. So very simple, it's just two overhand knots. Just starting off just a couple of inches just from the end because we're going to need just a tag end which you can actually pull just to open up the jam knot at the end. I'm just going to tie just a simple overhand knot and I'm just going to tighten that one up completely. And then again just a couple of inches further up, I'm just going to tie just another simple overhand knot but this time I'm just going to keep that one open. So the way that the jam knot works, I'm just using it in conjunction here with the wool blankets. Again, you know, these are the kind of things which it could be used for. Like I mentioned, any kind of roll mats, sleeping bags. We've also got a couple of yurts and bell tents at work, and this is the kind of way which we also wrap up the mattresses. So what we've got there, just a little closed knot, the first thing which we tied, and also just a little tag end. And again, I'm just going to repeat the process. I'm just tying just that other little knot there, which is the open loop. And then we're just going to get the main section or the main length of cord. I'm just going to wrap that just around whatever it is that we want to bundle up. And the best way which I've actually found it to use is actually just putting that tag end back up underneath. Just the knot itself. And then as we draw everything tight, the two knots join together. And the little outer knot there just stops the other knot from sliding through. And then we can just keep ratcheting and tightening it down <coughs> and just tightening it as much as we want to get it. And if you need it to, you can actually just tie them two pieces together just to make one single length of cord. And then you can actually just wear that on your back just to say stuffing it in your pack and just taking up the room. Or if you want to do, you can actually just use one longer length and just do it exactly the same way. So when it actually comes now to undoing this, very simple, the little tag ends that we had just off the little knot when we very first tied it, we just pull against that and that then just opens up these loops. Then we can just take these off and the item's ready to go. Well guys, that's it for this one. Just a quickie on the simple knots which I like to use. Just in conjunction with the last video really. Just a simple basic way which I like to set up my tarp. The knots follow suit. And again, you know, certainly living in the UK, low light conditions, bad weather conditions and the likes, just being able to do this thing simply. Just be able to do it effectively and fast. You know, my opinion is the way to go. So like always, I'll just seem to say thanks a lot for you stopping by and watching the video. Like always, until next time, you take care and I'll see you again.